I'll never forget this dreadful day. At first, I thought it was going to be just another crucifixion. Just another crucifixion, another supposed common criminal. The angry energy of the crowd, they were so venomous towards this man, they called Christ. First time I laid eyes upon him, I knew he was no common criminal. I didn't know what it was just then, but something different about that one. It's not up to me to determine the man's guilt or innocence. That's up to the governor. Pontius Pilate, he gave the orders. And as any good soldier does, I carried out those orders or else I'll be up, put up on a cross like any other criminal. The strongest of the soldiers who enjoyed his work began the scourging. But several blows in, his eyes met with Jesus's, and then he requested him to be blindfolded. He too saw what I saw, something about that man's gaze could pierce even to a hardened soldier's heart. But the scourging, scourging continued. Blow after blow. Jesus wouldn't fall. Now we've scourged hundreds of men. I'll tell you, that man stood longer than any I've ever seen before. It was as if there was something within him holding him up. Still, the scourging continued, and he fell. Pilate had hoped that the brutal beating would be enough to please the crowd and the religious leaders. But they were determined to see him crucified. So Pilate gave the orders, and Jesus was to be sent off to Golgotha. Tell you the truth, I didn't think he could carry the weight of that heavy cross after the brutal beating we gave him. But he stood up. And he got under that cross. Lifted. And started up the hill, step by step. As if on some kind of mission. With every step getting closer to some kind of finish line. Again, as if Something within him. When he, when he reached the top of the hill, he collapsed. The cross fell on him. I came to help. That's what his eyes, they met with mine again. And it was as if in that very instant, a light was shown in my heart and all my sins were exposed for all the world to see. That's when I knew. I knew there was more to that man than just flesh and bone. When we laid him on that cross, he didn't resist like every man does. When we, when we piled the spikes through his wrists and feet, he didn't, he just stared out blankly. We lifted him up on that cross. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. What kind of man prays for you while he's being crucified? The rest of the night was a blur. Those words going through my head. So finally, he said, It is finished. I swear to you, there was a look of satisfaction on his face. And then, the sky grew dark. And the earth began to tremble. Lightning. The crowd ran. I'll tell you the truth. I was never as scared in my life when I cried out. Surely, this man was the Son of God. 